So in this example, we're going to do a conditional probability. Um, the reason we know it's a conditional probability is because the problem actually says that we are given something. So once you see the words given that, you know it's a conditional probability. Um, this experiment is to roll two dice. And we know that the sample space for rolling two dice is actually equal to the set 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, and so forth until you get to 6, 6. So for the experiment of rolling two dice, that would be your sample space. But in this problem, because we're told that we have a sum of 9, I don't need most of these outcomes that were in the original sample space, and we're going to create what we call a restricted sample space, which restricts our sample space down to that given information. So since we're told that we have a sum of 9, the way you get a sum of 9 in a, on a set of dice is you could get a 3, 6, a 4, 5, a 5, 4, or 6, 3. So out of the giant sample space, these are the only outcomes we need for this restricted sample space. Now we can actually find the probability of getting a second dies of 2. So out of this sample space, what would be the ways of getting a second dies of 2? Well, notice in this restricted sample space, there are no second dies of 2. We have a 3, a 4, a 5, and a 6. So the probability of getting a second die is a 2, given that the sum is 9, would be 0 out of the 4, because there is no outcome in this restricted sample space that has a second die is a 2 out of the 4 outcomes that are in that sample space.